Yeah, hello. 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 Yeah. Hi, hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, everybody. Um, before we start the session, uh, I'm going to show you a little clip, a little outtake from a film, uh, which uh, features uh, two great guys who unfortunately died this year, Mac McLaren from the Sex Pistols and uh, Sebastian Horsley, but also have uh, Jonathan Mese. Jeff Koons and Oliver Toscani and, and, <laughs> and we have a grand thing, but uh, before we get into the discussion about the barbaric taste and the barbarians and all that, I would like you to invite to uh, see this little introduction. Thanks. Every morning when I woke up, I sleep with a loaded gun next to my bed. I want to be reminded every morning that I'm making a choice. Arthur, primarily to try to rid himself of his own barbaric taste. Well, I come here for you, I think, um, my fourth year here. And, and for me, it's just fantastic. I bring my camera and I, I, I take pictures of uh, a lot of work and, and it gives me a lot of ideas. You know, it kind of fills my creative reservoir and are there a lot of artists who are perhaps better suited advertising that art. Ritualisiere ich mich, dann bin ich Werbung. Ja, dann bin ich Design. Folge ich einem Ritual des realen Gelbes, dann äh, bin ich eben ritualisierte Werbung. Aber die äh, aufgekochte Suppe von irgendwas kann ja nicht schmecken. Nur die Diktatur der Kunst schmeckt richtig geil, süß, wie der Mund von Scarlett Johansson oder wie die Moomins. Das sind sicherlich die, äh, die Modelabels, die, die radikale Werbung. Am Anfang geflügelt haben. Also es gibt eben extreme Beispiele von Kevin Klein und es gibt eben auch wunderbare Beispiele von Sissy, die seit mehr als einer Dekade ausschließlich mit äh, Terry Richardson zusammenarbeiten. Sie sich von ihm jedes Jahr oder von jede Saison eine neue Kampagne fotografieren lassen, die vor der Route eigentlich nur so knackt und die zum Teil alle Grenzen des guten Geschmacks manchmal vermissen ist. Und das ist eine, eine, auch eine neue Errungenschaft von Werbung, sozusagen die Gesellschaft immer weiter auszutesten. Was ist noch zulässig, was wird vom Mainstream gerade noch akzeptiert, was kann ich in den Medien als, als Fotografie gerade noch durchsetzen. Sometimes I think what I like, I could be embarrassed. If I would do what I really like, I might end in jail. But after September 11, I mean, you can't do any more art. I mean, we've done the best. That was the best art ever made. Well, we got Picasso, and it is in paint, what uh, is September 11 is. Well, we can see it. September 11. Werbung ist nie radikal, nur Propaganda. Werbung bezieht sich immer auf die Menschenbefindlichkeit und auf den minimalen Menschenmaßstab. Propaganda bezieht sich immer auf die Sache. Ja, auf etwas viel Größeres oder Kleineres. Wenn es immer nur um die Rettung deines eigenen kleinen Arsches geht, dann kann, kann es eben nicht um Radikalität gehen. I think advertising is always the lowest of the lowest of the lowest rung on the ladder of the creative arts. I think advertising is something that really has only existed uh, and, and, and become important when it's become absolutely essential for products to have a real value in the society and actually to control the way we consume in that society. 
As we maybe become more discerning and consume less, advertising will become probably more, probably more devout, more interesting. It's, a, it's, it's going to become less to do with the eye candy, that's for sure. Und den radikalsten Bruch, den radikalsten ersten wirklichen äh, Schritt sogar fast gegen die klassische Hormak-Kommunikation, die über den Handwerker in den Mittelpunkt stellte, war sicherlich die Büchse Wahlkampagne. Schlag, Bohrmaschine, PSB, 1000 RCA, 1010 Watt. Mit integrierter Staubabsaugung. Maximale Bohrleistung in Beton 16 mm, maximaler Drehmoment 17 m. Autolog, Bohrwinkelkontrolle. Hornbach, es gibt immer was zu tun, die BIA, ja, die BIA. Ja, ja. Studies, but basically don't do anything, anything 
Gazi at all. I'm still looking for some uh, advertising hooligans that create kind of fear among the people that doing worst jobs. And, uh, maybe, uh, I think looking at everyday life and uh, at your personal life, I think this could be the best experience that you have. It's the best inspiration that uh, challenges you for uh, doing a better job. So is advertising in the need of, uh, let's say, <coughs> totally drunk hordes of barbarian advertising, people invading the whole fucking freezing? I think, yeah, I'm not going to be reminded. If you're looking for a job, I'll hold my credit card. You know, it's a, it's a mixture. How fantastic is that? Today, I think it has become kind of science to be in the advertising business. I think people can learn better than in the, in the good old days. It was a little bit like, well, advertising, how, how is it possible to work in the advertising business, make money and get, uh, and, uh, get drugs uh, and all that that is necessary to do the job? Uh, it was cool to be in the advertising business in those days, but today it's a little bit different because people learn and they want to be part of the advertising community and I think this makes this whole business a little bit um, lame. It becomes uh, very much predict predictable and as a science of advertising, mediocre. Yeah. So do we need these uh, advertising guys raping and pillaging the, the art fair to take back the righteous position as uh, pioneers of the board? 